Do you remember when just a few years ago, AI videos looked fake and everybody could tell that they were generated? Well, those days are over because yesterday, Google just announced VO3 at their IO event and the videos that it can generate are absolutely mind blowing and basically indistinguishable from real shots. Today, I'm gonna be showing you some examples made by VO3 and also just letting you know about everything that is very important about this new announcement. Now, what makes VO3 actually super interesting is not just the video quality on its own, which is by itself very impressive, but the overall package. For the first time, it can also generate voices and audio as well natively within the platform. EO3 can generate sound effects, background sounds, and dialogue. They left behind a a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. So you no longer necessarily need to use multiple different softwares to get the audio and get the voices from. You can just generate them all in one place. So you get cinema grade 4K quality, natural lighting and physics that actually mimic reality pretty much one to one and also built in audio generation. Oh, and also no more awkward lip movement or unnatural gestures and hand movements. Based on Google's presentation, VO3 right now is outperforming every single other video generator made by other companies at the moment. And at the presentation, they showcased examples that were simply just not possible even a couple months ago. So I can get the perfect ending that I've been working towards. So let's break it down. What sets VO3 apart from the previous models? First of all, unprecedented video quality. If you look at these examples right now, we have true 4K output, realistic physics simulations like water, fabrics and natural movements. We also have consistent lighting and shadows across multiple scenes and really accurate human movements and expressions. It also has revolutionary audio capabilities with built-in dialogue generation that creates a perfect lip sync on the character. According to this old sea chart, the lost island isn't myth. We must prepare an expedition immediately. Ambient sound generation that actually matches the environment multiple voice styles and emotional tones, One with nature now. and also background music and sound effect integration. They also introduced advanced camera controls so that you can actually create professional camera movements such as pans, tilts, and dolls as well. You also have depth of field and focus control available now, cinematic framing options, and also scene extension and modification as well. This is absolutely huge. This is like having a Hollywood level crew available to you and you just get to become the director without needing to know all the little details about production or having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on setting up all the different scenes. Now I'm going to show you a couple of their actual official demo highlights and I was blown away by this. This is the first one where there is a sailor on the sea and all of this is completely AI generated. Just look at this detail and quality that is available already in VO3. They also give us some other examples. For example, this one is more of an animated movie style. And they also gave the exact prompt that was used to create this, which is super cool. And I mean, look at the quality on this, the movements, the details. Everything about it is just amazing in my opinion. And I don't see any reason why you couldn't use this technology already to create, for example, professional level uh, kids animated movies, right? Or here's another one, like just look at the lip sync, just look at the hand movements. They are so much more realistic than anything you could achieve before with the previous models. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to play a couple more demos here while I'm speaking. So you can see it used in different kind of environments and also for different types of videos. Now they also came out with a bunch of other incredible things at the IO event. But one of the other things that really stood out to me, especially in this like AI video generation content creation segment is Flow. Now Flow is Google's new AI filmmaking platform. And it basically combines multiple generation methods in one integrated interface. So it is basically designed to create complete multi-scene videos with professional quality. Some of the key features that they announced at IO for Flow is first of all, text to video generation with detailed prompt controls, frame to video for more precise visual controls, also scene building tools for creating longer narratives 
and also seamless integration with Gemini for image generation. Now, the way Flow is different compared to other existing platforms is it's more integrated than current fragmented solutions. So it's more of like an all-in-one package. They also have better audio and visual synchronization than the competitors. It's also purposely built for storytelling rather than just generating videos separately. So based on this entire event, the current strengths of these new releases are the human performances with dialogues, the natural environments and the realistic physics, also the consistent characters that you can create across multiple scenes and just the professional looking and more controllable camera work. In terms of limitations from what we can see from just the demos is first of all, the very specific brand recreations are still pretty challenging. Also the complex multi-character interactions are not really available available yet or it's probably going to be really hard to make it look good and even extremely fast movements or action sequences are just not there yet. Now let's talk about pricing because it's a pretty hefty one. So it's going to be available through Google AI Ultra subscription, which is one to five basically for the first three months. And after that, it's going to be 250 bucks a month, which is quite hefty, but it kind of makes sense because right now this is probably one of the most realistic AI video generators that you can get. And every eight second clip generation is going to use approximately 150 credits. Also, it's currently only available in the US, but it's going to be coming to international markets as well very soon. Oh, and you also get a free YouTube premium subscription included. How nice of them, right? Now, before we would actually get into how this tool is going to now impact the entire content creation industry, I want to tell you about my new newsletter, which I just launched and it's completely free, where every single week you are going to be getting a custom email from me where I am summarizing that certain week's latest AI content creation and creator economy news and giving it to you in one simple and digestible package. Again, it's going to be 100% free. So if you want to sign up for that and not be left out from any of the latest and most trending AI and content creation news, then you can sign up for it completely for free with the link in the description below. Now, how is it going to impact the entire filmmaking industry? Well, first of all, I think it's going to democratize basically high quality video production because at the end of the day, in the future, you're not going to need hundreds of thousands of dollars and a full on Hollywood studio to be able to create these super cinematic looking videos and even create these animated characters. It's also going to enable filmmakers and advertisers to just create a lot more variations of their videos and ads and be able to test a lot more angles, I think, for way less money and at a much higher frequency. This kind of technology could be easily used in obviously film and television production, also marketing and advertising, education and training, social media content creation, and even in gaming. Now, obviously there are a couple of like legal things we should probably consider, and they have already talked about that as as well a little bit in their announcement and that is kind of like the disclosures required for example to label these ai generated videos and contents the copyright implications for any generated videos the potential case for misuses and deep fakes across the internet and also just overall google's like slated safeguards and limitations that they are going to put into place now again let's take one last final look at the demos just to see how far this technology has come from a couple of years ago it's ocean it's a force a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. So I think we can all agree that this technology has come a really long way already. And I would highly encourage every single one of you guys who are watching this to really pay attention to what's happening and to start learning these tools, start using them because it's not going to be just AI that's going to potentially threaten your business or job. It's going to be other humans who are leveraging this technology to produce more content and even try to make it better or make their workflow more efficient with these tools. And if you're interested in learning more about AI content creation and also making money with content as a whole, then go ahead, subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos just like this one and I will see you in the next video.